welcome to this bug and cat tune video while browsing online i came across these miraculous ladybug and cat noir the movie dolls there is ladybug cat noir two pack ladybug and cat noir and marinette in her ball gown at this stage i haven't seen adrian so starting with the ones on amazon we can see a ladybug has a new face mask and her lips are very red she does look younger than her other version and i think it fits with her movie appearance at this stage, I prefer the TV series doll, but it may change when I see this version in person. The other thing I noticed straight away was her yo-yo has gold markings on the top. We can see this pattern on the box, so it'll be interesting to see how it's relevant to the movie. The suit also looks shiny like the Talk and Sparkle Ladybug version. If it is, then this type of shiny fabric is prone to rubbing off and you're left with a blotchy suit. So this may not be the best version of Ladybug if you're expecting a lot of action play. The shoes also have spots on them unlike earlier release versions of the doll. She does not appear to come with a Kwame Kiki, which her TV series version does. We also get a girl photoshop to hold the ladybug doll. The box has a blue nighttime pair of scene into a red ladybug spots and gold trimmings. Looking at the back of the box, we can see our hero stands with their backs towards us looking over their shoulders. They appear to be on the balcony, looking out to the Eiffel Tower. This may be the location the ball will be held at, and the board of the image matches the love seat, which may be located on the balcony. You can also see that they have changed the name from Ladybug and Cat Noir Awakening to Ladybug and Cat Noir the movie. So Cat Noir looks pretty much the same as his TV series version. The only difference I can see is the colour of his lips. They appear to be darker on the movie doll. They are still in the same shape. Uh, the animated image seems to have the hair in the opposite direction to the doll. Cat Noir's outfit appears to be the same as his TV series and includes his staff, but not the Kwame flag. And here we have the girl Photoshop to now hold the Cat Noir doll. Now the two pack looks like it has the exact same dolls as the single packs do, except it doesn't have the yo-yo and the tune, it has a rose instead. Uh, Ladybug looks a little surprise shocked with her new face mask. The back of the box has a large image of what is on the single doll boxes, just in a heart shape. Two pack is similar to the mission accomplished two pack, where the dolls have one molded hand into the pounded shape. The mission accomplished set does include the yo-yo and staff, but not the Kwame, whereas this set only has the rose. This image shows the dolls back to back, like on the back of the box. They even made a doll scene with Ladybug having her back to Cat Noir, with him offering the rose. It matches with one of the early images we got from the movie with first introduction, and it also gives me emotional video vibes. And who could forget our glaciator at Fashion Scene? Now, the Marionette Collector doll I found on eBay comes in a much larger box than the Ladybug doll, and it has extra cutouts in the cardboard box to add detail. And the box also has the same color scheme as the other movie dolls. Marinette is dressed in her ball gown, which has a red underskirt with what looks like four layers of black spotted fabric. The waist is solid red, which moves into a silver spotted bodice with a silver cord detail. She has a lacy fabric for her sleeves, which her ladybug wings are also made out of. She wears a gold necklace and has glittery eyeshadow. Her hair is styled in a high bun and has a pink flower in her hair. The flower appears match her shoes, which look just like her civilian shoes, but totally. She also comes with a removable ladybug mask. There is a long debate as to whether red and pink go together, and this may be one of the times where it doesn't. I am yet to see dolls with Adrian in his ball attire, and Marinette and Adrian in their civilian clothing. It'll be interesting to see how these dolls differ from the TV series ones and if they will come with Kwame. So what do you think of these new Miraculous dolls? Are they on your shopping list? Let me know in the comments. 